All right, so in this video, I'm gonna do a comparison between the liquid hammocks, the 10 foot model, the sun chill, their eight foot model, and the boat hangout, which is their 10 foot model as well. So it's gonna be a video about um, the bags, you know, the bags that are included, the pumps, how they're stored, um, the inflation times, uh, both manual and um, with the electric pump, and then the weights, and then kind of the features that uh, make them all different. Um, so I hope this will help you um, decide which one is right for you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, so let's get to it. All right, so let's take a quick look at the bags that are included, starting with the boat. It is a waterproof material on the outside with a very pretty oversized pocket on the front. We have the pump strapped into one of the side straps. I could not fit it in the bag, so that's kind of the only place that it can go. Got backpack style straps on the back with rollers on the bottom. It's got some drains on the bottom as well. And then actually both sides have mesh netting. Again, that'll let the uh, moisture out of the bag if the float is left wet. So that's kind of overview with the boat bag. Moving on to the sun chill bag, it's more of a drawstring bag. So you got a carry handle here, and then you have the drawstring on top. And everything fits inside that bag. There's actually a lot of extra room, so you can put a couple more things in there if you like. And then the liquid hammock bag. So you have a pocket up here, up front for the pump. So the pump and the hose will go up here. You have some side straps to make it thinner if you'd like. You got a carry handle on each side, so if you wanted to carry it like a duffel bag, some carry handles on the each side. You got a carry handle on top, and that's for, you know, if you wanted to roll it. Same as the boat with the carry handle on top. You got a handle here on top of your backpack straps with a camping style. You got some rollers on the bottom as well. And then you have a mesh netting pocket, a little bit smaller of a mesh, but larger openings towards the top of the float. And again, that is to let air and moisture, you know, air flow through and moisture out if the float is packed up in the bag a little damp. A lot of extra room on the top of this bag to pack um, extra towels, whatever you'd like in the top of that. So this is pretty much, you can see there's not really any extra room in this bag. Definitely some extra room in the sun chill bag. You can see there. And then some extra room, a lot of extra room in this bag. So that is an overview of the bags. Let's get them on the scale and see how much they weigh. All right, going to get these floats up on the scale here. And this is not scientific in any way. It's literally hanging on the middle of an A-frame ladder. We got it zeroed out. And inside each of these bags are just the float itself, the pump, and the hose. So your measurements may be different. You know, there's different variations to all of these products, but this is just how I have them. Kind of give you an idea of what they weigh. Yep. Before I do the next one, let's zero that out. Okay, this is the liquid hammocks going on now. And that is free floating, not touching anything. Just over 40 pounds. Let me zero that out. And now we have the boat, again, just the hose, pump, and the bag. I'm actually going to hang it from this handle over here. Again, free floating there, not touching the ground. 
We are 5312. So that is for the weights of the bag, float, and pumps. And now we'll go on to getting them inflated and uh, seeing how long each of them take for manual inflation as well as with the electric pump. All right, so now we're gonna get the floats unpacked, um, blow them up and uh, get them ready to use. So we'll start with the liquid hammocks. We're gonna take the pump out of the front pocket here. We're gonna attach the hose to the inflate on the pump. Set that aside where we're going to inflate it at. Nope. Go. And now let's get it out of the bag. Take the bag, get it rolled up so that we can get it out of the way. Take the carry strap, take that off. You can also either put the carry strap in the bag or you can just take your carry strap and attach it here and cinch it down, whatever you like to do. And that way your bag is packed up, ready to go. Put that aside, and we'll get it molded. Our valve is going to be right here. And then we're going to loose our bolt. Then we're going to take the cover off, get our hose attached, and then we're going to just start plating. So we're pretty much ready to go. Here's when I'm gonna start the timer um, and then show you how long it takes to get the uh, plugs inflated. So this will be the inflation time um, and then you can compare them for yourself. So I will speed up the video just so that you can see. Um, it's not taking 30 minutes of just inflating floats. Um, I'll break it down into a couple seconds and then uh, you can see the times um, with the timer that I put in the video. We are at 5 PSI, so this one is inflated and ready to go. So now I'm going to set this one aside, get the uh, air chill ready to be unpacked and inflated. All right, so now I'm going to get the sun chill unpacked and inflated. The uh, pump does have detachable handles and a bottom foot piece. So these do unscrew and the foot piece does um, detach. Um, but I attached them just for the sake of speed in this video. So we're going to set that there. We're going to take the hose out. Again, there's going to be an inflate and deflate side. You're going to find inflate and you're going to screw the hose on. And we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to take the sun chill out. Kind of like getting a sleeping bag out of a sleeping bag holder. And you're going to take a carry strap, loosen it, set that out of the way. And you're going to get this one laid out and ready to inflate. So we'll find the insulation, set that over towards the pump. And then this still has a push to open and close. We're going to leave it closed. We're going to attach our hose. And now we are going to inflate. So we're going to leave this valve closed. This is this still has a two-stage valve. We are on the inflate side. And this is where I will start the timer to show you how long it takes to get this one inflated and ready to use. So here we go. And there we are, we are done. We are at six PSI, which is their recommended inflation pressure. And then we'll just detach the hose and put the cap on. And now this one is ready to use and enjoy. So I'm gonna get this one out of the way and uh, get ready to inflate the boat. All 
All right, now, so let's get the uh, boat unpacked and ready to use. So I'm gonna detach the hose over here on the side, hose in the pump. We're gonna take our hose and put it to the inflate side. Put that over here. Now let's get this one unpacked. Take the side straps off so that you can get to the uh, zippers a lot easier. Okay. This bag rolled up. That one packs down so you can get that out of the way. Just it. Last little bit will be folded. And we're ready to go. So this valve's just a little bit different. It has a push and twist to remain to have the valve remaining open. But again, we're going to leave it closed for inflation. To turn that. And now we are ready to go to inflate this one. So this is when I will start the timer. Make sure I'm still in frame here. Move it up a little bit, actually. There we go. Oh, better. All right, sorry about that. I um, just had to readjust so that now this is when I'll start the timer and I'll get this inflated. Um, to the recommended PSI, which is six, or sorry, between minimum inflation six, max is eight. So we'll go for six. Um, you should be able to use it uh, just as well at six PSI rather than eight. That's the difference. So again, um, these also had detachable handles. They're a lot smaller uh, than the Sunshine ones, but I just left them on here so that uh, you're not going to want to detach them and screw them on and off every single time. So let's go. Now I'm going to start um, the timer and we're going to inflate this to the 6 PSI. All right, and we are 6 PSI. Be there on the gauge. And we are ready to go with this one. Tap back on and enjoy. So now we got all three of them inflated. I will go around show you some of the features of each of them. Kind of get to give you an idea of the measurements and size. And then uh, that'll pretty much be the end of the video. I will insert in between me doing that um, in the end. I'm going to do the features now, but you'll see the next video that. The next segment of videos you'll see is me inflating them with the electric pump. So it's not just me inflating them. It'll be kind of a, a test, um, a control, if you will, of the electric air pump inflating all of them to the same exact PSI. So all right. And so in this section, I'm going to do inflation to all three of the floats using the Airbank uh, Puffer Pro. So this is the one with the rechargeable battery already inside. Um, I set it at five PSI, and then I'm gonna use the stopwatch. The valve is closed so that no air escapes. And we'll set this up so that we can see everything happen all at once. And this is kind of a control, so there's no pumping involved. Um, battery's fully charged, so we can just, I'm gonna hit start and start at the same time. And we are at five PSI at about a hundred, a minute and 27 seconds. So that's how long it takes to inflate the Sun Chill with the Airbank Air Puffer Pro. 
So we'll go ahead and unhook it and go on to the next one. All right, so we're going to turn this back on. Hold down the button, still set at 5 PSI. We got the valve closed. And here we go. Alrighty, we just cracked four minutes. So that's five PSI with the on the liquid hammock. So we are fully inflated and ready to go. Now we'll move this one out of the way and go to the last one, the boat. All right, we let the pump cool down, put a fresh charge on it, battery's full. We are hooked up to the boat 10 foot and we are going to get it started. there we are we are just over six minutes for the boat the liquid hammock was four minutes and the sun chill was like a minute 25 uh, somewhere around there so you can see that they don't take long to inflate um, there's all of them inflated so um, yeah all righty in this section we're gonna go over the air pumps that come with each of the floats so the cylinder itself, the air cylinder that puts air into the float, they all look the same diameter. The hoses are all the same length. Just to show you. So all the same length here. And um, now let's go over the differences. So on the boat pump, and all of these are just how I receive them. You may get different pumps from the manufacturers. This is just how I receive them. They may change them up. Um, but this is just what I got when they were ordered. So your double action, single action is a lever. So you can switch that from side to side depending on if you wanted dual action or single action. The ends, these little pieces screw on. And then your deflate is up here on the handle, okay? And then you have your inflate coming off this cylinder here. You have a gauge that goes up to 28 PSI, so you can pretty much inflate any inflatable that you have. Now we'll move on to the liquid hammock. None of the, all the handles are molded in, nothing to screw on. Uh, on this one, what you see is kind of what you get. Um, this is the single action, double action valve. You just take that out if you want um, single action or leave it in for double. And then there's the instructions on that if you need it. The inflate and deflate are on the handle. So you can see here it says deflate. On this side, it says inflate. And then you have a gauge up here that um, goes up to 30 PSI. It's got little icons to, you know, tell you if you're inflating the airfoil wing, you know, around 10 PSI, stand up paddleboard 15. And then um, the liquid hammock is five PSI. So, and then moving on to the sun chill. So there's is very compact. Uh, it goes into a smaller bag. So the handles, screw on and the foot kind of twist and locks. Um, it is the shortest on all of the cylinders. Um, and it does have a dual action valve as well. You can get around here, has instructions on how to do that. And then goes up to eight PSI to gauge. So the only, um, drawback that I noticed on this one is that so the obviously the plunger in here is the length of the cylinder so you're just I mean I'm six foot so it was just a little bit more crouched you know pulling the cylinder up and down because it had less travel um, still did the job great still inflated it you know as efficient as possible because of the size of the bag that it's limited to so that's kind of a review of the pumps they're all you know get the job done if you need to do it manually um, or you could go for the electronic way. All right, on to the next section. Let's get on to the features. All right, so let's start with the boat since we have it here on the floor. Um, 
You've got comfort handles. Um, these have just extra padding around the strap. Very big and easy to grab. You have a lot of tie down points that are located on the top. I'm pretty sure there's six handles and six tie downs. Okay, you got a um, kind of like a rubberized coating uh, EVA foam to the top. So that gives you some texture, non slipability there. Um, these pods, I'm pretty sure they're magnets. Um, there's six of them on the top of the float and they sell special products that attach to those. So tumblers, uh, cup holders, uh, you can get them for, through their website and uh, they basically just attach on here uh, and hold it with a magnet. So that kind of, the shape is different on here. You're kind of hexagonal. Um, so you got thicker sections. You can see here that this section is thicker than this section. So a little bit less space between here and there, and a little bit more space between here and there. So just a little bit different of a dot design, but still very firm. This has the most flotation out of all three because it is the biggest. Uh, the trade-off is for the weight. Um, it weighs more and takes longer to inflate. Uh, but once it is inflated, again, more flotation. This section here is bigger. Uh, you can almost lay down there. Um, and then let me get it flipped over. I'll show you the underside. All right, so I just got it flipped over. Uh, you can actually use these floats. I don't see a lot of people doing it, but if you didn't want to be in the water, uh, it's almost like a trampoline. It won't work as a trampoline though. Um, this is how you lay on them without being in the water. So this is literally the hammock part. If you didn't want to be in the water, you know, maybe the water's too cold or you just wanted to suntan, flip it over and just lay down just like this on your stomach, on your back. Um, just another way to, you know, utilize these floats um, that I don't see a lot of people using them as. Uh, so big differentiator here is the way that the netting is attached. Um, so you can see here, it's kind of a continuous seam between the netting. So the netting is pretty similar of the other ones, but you have a rope here. So no flex in this rope and no flex with this seam. So it's taut. Um, makes a difference with how it's being used. Again, just a different design. Um, but that is that definitely makes a difference once you're in the water and using it. So that's kind of the underside. And now let's move on to the sun chill since that's the next one that's um, sitting there. All right, so now I got the sun chill down here. You, so you got your air valve here when you're push to open, push to close. And then over here, this funny looking thing is actually a safety feature. Uh, it doesn't allow it to over inflate. Whether you leave it in the sun, you're not looking at the gauge, um, it releases extra pressure so that you're not, um, you know, blowing the seams out of this thing. So definitely a nice safety feature there. You got your three stainless steel D-rings. So you can see them here. And then there's one over here. And then the third one is here. So kind of evenly spaced throughout. Then it also has the attachment points are different. So you have your bungee cord to your mesh. And then you have the attachment points. And I see my finger there for size reference. And then of course this bungee cord here can be you know, you can let some slack out or tighten it, um, depending on how much flex you want in this net. Um, they set it up so that it's perfectly easy to use, so you won't have to do anything there. Um, there are cup holders. Let me grab them. So they give you this cool little dry bag. And in here, some merch so you got some neoprene koozies and then you actually have strap-on cup holders so these will go around the ring you kind of see there how they attach this hook will go to here and then this cup holder better let me just show you let me set this down doesn't take long at all to install you just slip it under the ring and then you hook this little loop 
there. Now you got a couple. So now you take your water bottle, drink whatever you have, and then just slip it in here. And then actually your koozie, you had a koozie, you have double insulation. So it includes two of these. Um, currently, they may have uh, different incentives that give you more of them, and you can also purchase as many as you want. They you can sell they sell them separately as well. And then these are movable, so you can put these you know every two inches. You can have the whole ring filled with cup holders, um, and you can take them on and off. I'm pretty sure you can actually leave them attached and pack it all down, uh, so you don't have to take them on and off. You can just leave them like this um, and still fold it up because this is an elastic plastic band, so it does have some flex there. Um, so even when you deflate it and fold it all up, it should not get in your way. So two of them are included. Here's the other one. And then some other things they give you. Again, your um, purchase may differ, but this is just what was included in this one. So that's the features of the Sun Chill. And then now we'll look at the liquid hammock. All right, so now we got the liquid hammock down here on the floor. And we'll go over the features of that. So you got your carry handles, four of them. There's one directly across from that other cup holder, one over there and one over there. So they're all evenly spaced, four of them. They do not have padding. Um, hopefully you won't be carrying it that long. It is not heavy. None of these floats are heavy because they're filled with air. Um, so yeah, carry handles there. You have four stainless steel D-rings, a little bit bigger. Um, that's just to tie off your ropes. Eight molded in cup holders that are self-draining. So this hole allows water to drain out. They are evenly spaced. There's eight of them. And they are up off the water. So you can kind of see those humps there. That allows the water to drain. If you get water in your cup holder, um, allows it to drain out um, the bottom and keeps your cups nice and dry. Let me show you actually. So you can fit a, this is a 30 ounce tumbler. Fits in there, no problem, actually some extra room. So might be able to fit like a Stanley or any of those other bigger ones. They should fit in there pretty easily. So that's an overview of the top. I will, actually, I don't even need to flip it over. I'll just show you. So your, your inflate and deflate valve, that's the same as the, I showed you earlier. So attachment points there, okay, still your bungee cord and your netting. So, and then of course you got some extra string here that you can make it deeper in the water if you want. So that is an overview of the liquid hammock features. So now let's get them all together uh, so that you can compare size, thickness, and uh, kind of see the difference there. All right, so I ran out of real estate on my porch, so forgive me for not having the sun chill somewhere else, but that's kind of give you an idea of the size anyway. So um, they're all sitting on level ground. So the liquid hammock is 10 feet, two inches in diameter. The sun chill, I think is just over eight. I'll put the specs on the screen so that you can see from the manufacturer's um, website what they say for um, interior and exterior space. Uh, but this gives you a visual idea of all of them. Boat over there. So as far as thickness, kind of see the difference. Let me scoot this over there. Kind of see the Thickness difference there. Let me come over here, see the difference between those two. The thickness in the ring. That should give you an idea of the different thicknesses there. And then actually I'll just slide this one over the top of this one. Don't recommend that on, on uh, pool deck, but these are high grade uh, PVC, so don't recommend you sliding them across anything, but won't really hurt it. Um, that'll kind of give you an idea. They're pretty even. 
So the boat is hexagonal, so that's why you see it sticking out a little bit on the inside and the outside, whereas the liquid hammock is a circle. Kind of see the thickness there. So that gives you an idea of size um, between these products. Now, I know Sun Chill, they make a massive one. I think it's called a Mega Chill. Um, I don't even know the dimensions on that. Uh, but these are all in the same ballpark as far as price point. So that's why I have these three. There are other ones. There are many other ones. Um, but this gives you an idea of these three. Hopefully this helps you out determine the size. Now I will, um, you know, kind of put the information where you can buy these down below in the description. Like I said, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Reach out to, you know, each manufacturer if you have any specific questions. Um, but hopefully this video helped you out uh, to kind of give you an idea of all three of them, you know, in the flesh, if you will. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.